Okay, we're almost at the end, so we've got two sections to go. This last one is how we delete data from our database, and it's pretty simple, so let's uh, jump into it. Just a quick over what, overview of what we're going to do. We're going to find our selected task within the data grid view, so we'll select a row, we'll find it, uh, we'll remove it from our DB context, so we'll select it, select it for removal or mark it for removal, and then we'll save and that will flush the changes through to our database. So again, remember, DB context is an intermediary. We can make changes to it, uh, but they're not affected in our database until we save changes, okay? That's the next section. So let's get on with that. So let's go to our form design. Let's double click our delete button to get to the code behind that. And it's quite simple. All we need to do is we need to basically find the, uh, the task that we want to delete. So the way we do this is we create a variable, we'll call it T for task, and that equals TM context tasks find. And we want to find the task by its ID. That's kind of uh, default behavior. So we get the ID from the data grid, the selected item in our data grid. Now this is a wee bit clunky because if we click delete and we've not selected an item in our data grid, this will all fall down. So this is what I'm saying. The user interface isn't that robust. You have to have a selected item in our data grid view for this to work. But I'm, and I'm not putting any validation checks in or anything like that. So data find data grid view, selected cells, get rid of that, selected cells, we'll use the zero index which is the first column in our, uh, in our row and we'll want the value of that. Now I've found that we just had to cast that to an int, that value to an int or this find method to work properly because it operates off an integer value. So basically what that's saying is we're creating a task and we're uh, finding that task in our TM uh, context, DB context class by understanding the row that we've selected. And that's why in the data grid I said multi-select false. So again, the user interface is not that robust, but anyway. And then all we need to do is TM context tasks, remove, and we want to remove T, the object that we found. Now that just marks it for removal in our DB context class. In order for it to be flushed out the database, we have to save changes. And then we'll refresh our grid as well. I can spell it. Hmm, why is that not working? Refresh. Did I call it refresh data or refresh? I'll call it refresh data. Not refresh grid. Okay. Cool. So let's see if that works. So having some chocolate. I probably am overweight, so I will select that. Now, again, this is the zero index of our selected cells. It's three, that's why I put that in there, and that's what we're using to find the uh, task. And we should, if we click delete, there we go, it's deleted. And if we go to our database and run that again, it's gone. So all we have left to do is to update data in our uh, form, and we're done.